is proposing uh, a solution that actually goes from uh, building automation workflow. This is here at the top. Uh, a second part is scheduling and orchestration, and a third part is resource management and monitoring. So the, the workflow themselves allows you to, to build parallel and distributed execution. So you can actually specify that you want to execute this task 10,000 times on 10,000 different distributed resources. The second part is, is a multi-user, multi-application, multi-tenant scheduler and orchestrator that will apply different priorities uh, to the corporate uh, scheduling and orchestration. And, and usually most of the schedulers will stop here and rely on external provisioning of resources. With Activeon Solution, we actually have a building resource manager which allows you to provision, deprovision, manage elasticity, and I will, we'll see in the concrete case here, we will be able to actually find uh, allocate tasks to resources based on memory consumption or I.O. or C.P.U. or something. So why is it important, and especially in a class migration framework? I mean, when you execute on-prem, you have your own resources. When you move to the cloud, you don't have your resources, you pay per zero. So it's getting very important that you actually optimize the usage of your resources. And this is what we are doing in, in this uh, diagram. So we are actually compacting the execution, making it more efficient and faster to get a faster result and to do more with uh, less resources in a, a smaller time. So, at legal in general, we have um, the need to calculate the value of all of our financial instruments. Think about bonds, uh, securities, but also mortgages and bank and retirement funds, etc. under stress. What does it mean? It means how much money are we going to lose under hypothetical market conditions. So we need to change market conditions to hypothetical ones and recalculate the value of all of our portfolios. And this needs to happen two million times. And it's a massive computation that so far takes, uh, I believe the latest timing is 3,000 hours of CPU. So it is imperative to, com to parallelize it using a computing grid. One of the t biggest problems we have is that we have some tasks that are CP heavily CPU intensive and it used the CPU 100% for, again, 3,000 plus hours. On the other side, we have, running in parallel with that, tasks that are heavily I.O. intensive that need to do about two terabytes worth of I.O. within an eight-hour period. So what a solution we came up together with Proactive is to run the same uh, some uh, CPU intensive tasks in parallel with IO tasks on the same host so that every single host is slightly overloaded, but in the end you end up a much higher throughput that you don't waste your time. So you have one task that is stuck on IO for minutes and another task that is consuming the CPU resources of the same host. And that way in the end the overall throughput is maximized and we are not wasting any time, we are not wasting any hardware resources. We pay for a ho host per minute. So whether a host is busy on CPU, we pay X. If a host is busy on IO, we also pay the same amount. If the host is busy on both, we pay the same amount. So we're effectively halving the amount of money we spend and the time it takes to do the same things. Uh, this is a graph of our batch. This is again, it used to be in the, in the, in the beginning a 18 hours batch, and it is running in proactive. And every box you see is a task. We have 3,000 something tasks that are breaking down the problem into elementary units, and we just submit them all at once to proactive, and then proactive handles 
scheduling those tasks along the grid. Here you have an example with uh, 31 um, hosts on the grid. That was the, our previous grid that was on-premises, so hosts that were permanently up, owned by us, incredibly expensive. And you can see already in here the uh, pipeline <coughs> of the uh, CPU intensive tasks, which here are colored in the uh, purple, blue, and green, with the IO intensive tasks, which are colored in yellow, that are running at the same time on the same hosts. And another big achievement we got with Proactive is that the, the first third about of the tasks produces the most important results. So we devised a way to pr run all the impo most, most important tasks at the beginning and push out to our final users, our consumers, the most important reports ahead of the, uh, the, ahead of the end of the batch. And since the, the whole batch takes 18 hours, but the most important reports are out and ready to be consumed under just five hours because we really don't want to wait for the end of everything to start reading out the results. This is the batch today. So this was about uh, one year ago. This is the batch today. We have migrated to Azure. We are now running a grid that scales up and down on the fly. Uh, on the left side of this graph, you see how the batch starts timidly on only one host, and then the batch schedules a thousand plus tasks on Proactive. And the grid automatically goes up to life. All of those 64 uh, computation hosts were completely shut down, we were not paying for them. The moment we need them, they go up. 15 minutes later or so, we're, tr we're still trimming the performance. You see that Proactive looks up the nodes, registers them, and starts running tasks. <coughs> and at the end of the batch, the node goes da go down again. So here we have a five hours batch. We paid exactly for those five hours, not a pen, not a pen anymore. There is another interesting bit in this graph that you can see. Uh, you see that white area towards the bottom right. Now that is a host that died in the middle of the batch. Don't know what, hardware failure, some kernel panic, don't care. The most important bit, however, is that Proactive noticed, rooted around it, and just moved the tasks that were designed for that host somewhere else. And the batch proceeded to completion without a glitch, just very slightly slow. And now, again, we, used start, we started on an 18 hours batch. Now, thanks to Proactive and thanks to additional optimizations we did along the way, and thanks to Azure, it's now down to five hours. And by the end of the year, my hope and expectation is to go definitely below four hours, and possibly less by adding more grid hosts, more capacity to the grid. Thanks a lot. By, by the way, uh, what was the time in the last benchmark? Uh, it takes five hours to completion of all the results. And in how long did we get the critical results, the first part? Do you know about that? About two hours. 